Hey guys, so today I have a makeup tutorial for you. I wanted to do just a look that I've been doing for the past couple weeks. It's been a nice little transition into fall. So this is a palette I have been using. It's by Benicos and it's the Natural Eyeshadow Quad in... Is there a shade? I don't know. Beautiful Eyes 001 maybe? But it's been fun to use some purples. I've been using just bronzes and kind of neutrals the entire summer. So. I'm starting to play a little bit more with my makeup as it's going to get a little cooler. I hope it's still hot outside. And I've been also trying some new products lately from Hourglass, Bare Minerals, just some things that I've been trying out lately and just loving. So it'll be nice for you guys because I know I use a lot of the same products in my tutorials. So there will be some newbies in here. So if you want to see how I've been doing my makeup for the past couple weeks and get this look, then just keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to start with primer. So all I have on right now is my Andalou Naturals moisturizer and then I filled in my eyebrows with some Anastasia brow powder and my Hourglass brow pencil. So for my primer, I've been using the Veil Mineral Primer Oil Free SPF 15 by Hourglass and this stuff I just can't get enough of it I just think it's it's like a hang on pump some out for you so it's just white and I feel like it just totally gets rid of any redness on my skin gets rid of any big pores that are showing and it just kind of like camouflages everything it's super lightweight too it's not thick or anything and it's free of a lot of bad ingredients, which a lot of primers are full of a lot of um, ingredients that can really clog your pores. Next I'm using my Tinted Moisturizer by Hourglass. This is oil free, it is SPF 15, and I, I mean I've been using this in the summer, you guys know I got a sample of it, and then I recently got the full size. This is the Hourglass brush that is meant to be used with it, it's, our, it's the number 2 brush. So I just put some on the back of my hand and then using like a little bit at a time I just start kind of swirling that into my skin and the reason I like this I was debating between this one and the Tarte one I like this because it gives a little bit more coverage and the Tarte one left my skin a little bit oily looking I always like you know a little bit of a dewy finish but it was a little bit too much like I found I had to kind of put powder on my face throughout the day which I usually don't um, and this one just has a really good ingredients in it too I mean the Tarte one does as well but this one I just found worked better for my skin so this is with one layer of the tinted moisturizer and it's perfect for me I love it because it is enough coverage for my skin but I still feel like my skin can kind of breathe throughout the day it's not full coverage but it just covers enough to get rid of any redness or anything like that so next I'm going in with some concealer this is the my shell concealer in cream and um, you guys know this has become my ultimate favorite concealer I've been using the Sigma P86 it's a tapered blending brush to blend that in and um, the reason that I like this concealer, it feels like a treatment for your skin. It doesn't feel like makeup. I actually got rid, I have been using the Sheer Cover one for a really long time. And I found that it would make my milia more pronounced. And it was really drying up my skin. So I put that in my bag for my empties this month. Because, I don't know, I just... Like when I find something that I like so much that I don't use other products, I might as well just get rid of those. Now I will put some Painterly Paint Pot onto my lid just to get rid of any veins, freckles, redness, all the above. And then to set my makeup, I have been using the Laura Geller. It's the Balance and Brighten Powder. Mine is in the shade Fair. Oh, my shade in the Tinted Moisturizer is Ivory. It's like one of their lightest shades. I'm just using a little bit of this because at the very end you will see I'm using the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder so I don't like to have too many products just kind of layered on top. For my blush I've been using my NARS Madly which you guys probably saw in my Fall Essentials video 
and I've been using this alone and I haven't really been doing much bronzer so it's just a nice kind of neutral nude color it has a little bit of warm pink like peach undertones and I've been using this just in kind of the hollows of my cheeks and then a little bit on the apples to kind of warm up my skin up to warm my skin up but it's kind of nice because I can use it alone and I don't have to use bronzer as well it just saves you one less step and then I put a little bit on my forehead too and then I'm taking some of my Mary Luminizer uh, by the balm the highlighter and just putting a tiny bit right on the tops of my cheekbone just a little and that's it and then last for my face I'm taking my hourglass ambient powder this is in dim light so this these powders I will talk about if you want to see like a full review that'll be next I think for my videos um, but basically they all have different purposes and give you different effects for different types of light so this one is supposed to help blur imperfections get rid of pores and give you like an overall glow I'm pretty sure so this is the brush that you can buy that goes with it and um, you're supposed to just kind of drag a little bit in there and then just lightly dust it on your face and you don't need much um, and you just kind of put it wherever you want like the desired effect they're pretty cool I want to get a couple more different shades Okay, moving on to my eyeshadow. So I am going to be using this palette. It is by Benicos, and it's natural eyeshadows. Um, so you get a nice quad of like a nice silver color, a couple of shades of purple, and then this kind of dark brown burgundy color. They're really pretty. They're really creamy and pigmented, um, and I've been using them a lot. So first I'm going to take this kind of shimmery, it's like a silver color, uh, with a flat brush so I can pack it on my lid and I just put it all across my lid and then into the tear duct and right underneath there the next I'm taking this purple color with my MAC 213 brush which is like kind of a flat shader brush and I'm going to put this on the outside of my eyelid and then kind of work that into the crease And then I'm going to blend that out with my Sigma E25. Then taking this light purple, I'm going to put a little bit of this right in the middle of my eye just to kind of brighten it up a little bit. Then taking just a fluffy brush, I'm going to use the setting powder that I used but earlier by Laura Geller. This guy and put that right under my brow bone. I'm going to take the uh, fluffy brush with my NARS Madly, that kind of nude color, or you can use a bronzer or just a light kind of peachy brown shade. And I'm going to put that on top in the crease on the outside and this will just kind of warm the eye up a little bit. Now I'm going to take that dark color with an eyeliner brush and just line the top part of my lashes. Take some of that onto your lower lash line as well. And then you can take like one of the purple shades and go underneath with that too. And then I'm going to line my lower lash line with my Studio Gear. This is a just a nude eyeliner that you can you can get any type of nude eyeliner. I just I really like this one, but I think the next one that I'm going to buy is the Nars the Nars one. I think it's in Rue Bonaparte. I think it's the shade. It 
Then curl your lashes. And then I'm putting my Tarte Lash Primer on first. I like to do one eye at a time with this. I feel like your mascara goes on better when it's wet. But I do if you're looking for a lash primer. I wanted to try this one because it's more natural than the Lancome that I'm using my um, L'Oreal Grow or Revlon Grow Luscious. Uh, but I, what was I going to say? Oh, I wanted to try a more natural primer, so that's why I got the Tarte one. But I do really prefer the Lancome one, so I probably will buy that one next again. For lips, I'm using my Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie in Rebel. It's just a nice kind of nude mauve lip gloss. And then on top, I'm using the lipstick that I got. I got these both at Beautycon. Um, this is the Marvelous Moxie Lipstick in Be Free, which is like a very nude lipstick. But I just put this kind of right in the middle. And then I'm going to spray my George's Aloe Spray all over. This is what everything looks like all finished. Just a very, it's still neutral. Like you guys know I don't, I don't do dramatic makeup every day. So I wanted to do something that is an easy way to transition your summertime makeup into fall using a little bit more color on your lid um, but still keeping your face kind of fresh and dewy. So super easy. But I've been doing this for the past couple weeks and it's been sort of my go-to and I've been loving trying all these new products. They all kind of work together so it's been really nice and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. If you guys have any comments or requests or anything else, just leave it in the comments down below and I will talk to you guys all soon. Thanks for watching. Bye!